And hi there, Paul Cashmere with today's music news from undercover.com.au. Little Wayne has sold 423,000 units of his The Carter 3 album on day one. The album could sell over 900,000 units in the first week. Kanye West did 957,000 units of graduation last year after selling 437,000 units on day one. Publishing giant Bertelsmann has put its stake of Sony BMG up for sale. The publishing giant and half-owner of Sony BMG, the BMG Half, has put that half up for sale for $1.5 billion. How'd you like to have Joan Jett's new guitar? Well, Gibson today announced the Joan Jett Signature Melody Maker guitar. This is my guitar, she says. Gibson was successfully able to replicate my custom velvet hammer pickups, which haven't been available for more than 20 years. Is George Michael about to announce his retirement? Well, he's called his upcoming shows The Final 2. Wham's last ever show was called The Final, so is he retiring or just giving a nod to the last days of Wham? I guess we'll have to find out until the uh, out of retirement shows start. Michael will perform August 24 and 25 at Earl's Court in London. This Sunday, the Australian music industry is getting behind one of its own. Norm Sweeney, one of the legendary roadies of the 60s and still working, is suffering from cancer. Richard Clapton, John Paul Young, Brian Cadd, the Aztecs, Jim Keyes, Doug Parkinson, Swanee, Phil Manning and Dinah Lee will perform a benefit show for Norm on Sunday at the Bridge Hotel in Roselle in Sydney from 5pm. And finally, Duran Duran have become the first ever band to perform at the Louvre Museum in Paris. They performed a fundraiser inside the Louvre Pyramid for the museum's 18th century decorative arts gallery. And you'll find more on these stories and other stories at undercover.com.au.